Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dave is here again in the shop. Now he's got a question here that I often get from YouTubers on, on, uh, on my videos and we're going to answer all these questions right now. Okay, what's up Dave? So this is my brother's MS-170, the still. This is a common saw, Dave. Everybody has one of these. Probably one of the more popular ones yeah. out there, yeah. right? I mean, it's it's homeowner grade. It's awesome for just doing limbing work around the property. Oh, I love them, Dave. I've right. got about two of these and a 180. <laughs> yeah. They're, they always run. I've seen them kicking around. They look brand new. Yeah. So the issue that we're having with this saw is um, I'm not quite sure. I've never heard this. Sorry, I'm not quite sure I've ever heard a noise that it's making when okay. I go to start it. Why so, don't you show that? Show it to us. Yeah, so I, it's off, but... Does the saw run like that or...? No, it no. doesn't run. Okay. So it's kind of a weird squeaking noise. And okay, I want to pull it over, yeah. pull it over. I'll yeah. get in close with the camera yeah. and... Oh, wow. Do you like hear that a squeak? Sque yeah, like a squealing. So I've never heard a noise like that from a saw before, so yeah. um, what do you think it is? Well, first of all, let's take the muffler off. Okay. Okay, I yep. think that engine might have gotten too hot. Yeah, an over rev or it's cooked and, and the rings are making a weird noise yeah. maybe on the cylinder. So right away we'll do that. Yep. A lot of people buy these days these tiny little saws yep. and use them as if it's a 50cc saw. Oh yeah. And they end up overheating them. And I will imagine that this one is probably fried. Oh yeah, no, you're right, that's exactly what it is. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, all right, I can see some scoring. Pull it over a bit. Oh yeah. It's cooked. And see that brown there, Dave, on the piston? And that's below, it's got nice and hot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that indicates that it got hot. I mean, look at, you can still see the, the factory markings on that piston, so. Yeah. Well, this saw was just bought last year, yeah, I think you said, eh? Right. Uh, on another day. Yep. Um, wow. It's cooked. So that explains that noise. Yeah, he must have been cutting like major, major stuff. Here, let's yeah. that. Wow, you can really hear now with the muffler off. So is that from the rings? You know what? I'm going to spray a bit of lube in there. And if the squeaking stops, yeah. I'll know it's coming from the cylinder. Yeah. So we got some deep penetrating oil here. Yeah, spray that right in. There. This is more just to see, just for fun. Just to see where that noise is from. If it's, it stops, then we know it's coming from the cylinder. All right. Yeah. 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 So the squeaking's gone, so it was obviously the rings rubbing on the, the inside of the cylinder. Yeah, exactly. Feels like it's got good compression now. I know, uh, yeah. That's because it's kind of uh, it's sealing the rings to yes. the cylinder better. Yep. Once it runs, it'll just if it did start, it would just burn it off. Yep. So I guess the next question is, Don, on a yep. a lower end, less expensive saw like the MS One Seventy, mm -hmm. where do you draw the line? Like, is this something that I should even consider fixing, or is it time to to pitch it or sell it for parts? Basically, Dave it's not worth repairing with OEM parts. And I'll show you why in a second here. Okay, Dave, here's the Canadian Flyer that okay. just came out not long ago. Here's a MS-170-209.95. Yep. What's that in US dollars? 149 bucks, maybe? Uh, probably. 139? Probably 180, something like that. Oh, okay. So the deal is, Dave, by the time you get the parts, the parts are gonna cost probably more than what you'd pay for that. Right. And then, your time right. to fix it, right. it's totally not worth it because when you buy a new saw for $209.95, everything's new, yeah. you have warranty, you, you get a new bar and chain which costs here about 80 bucks for right. both. Just for that. You're halfway there with just a bar and chain. Right. I mean, for me it's a no-brainer, I mean, unless you've got a good aftermarket source for, for a block or the cylinder and the piston and rings. Yeah then you can do it but they're kind of iffy they, well, you know it's 50 50 it, with those kits right and my understanding is this is not a pro level saw so no if we're disassembling this this piston and cylinder yes it's like you're taking everything apart oh absolutely hours, dave. hours of work absolutely dave remember the 261 we did a few videos yeah. on yeah of course okay it would take you longer yeah 
to do this, yep. to do it on this saw than the 261. Right. Well, 261, easy. Four bolts on the top. Oh, right. Exactly. And if any side of things. Absolutely. So yeah. if anybody's watching today and they can't fix their own saws, yeah. just forget it. Just go buy a new right. one. You're way ahead of the game. Keep this one for parts. Or put it up on Craigslist or Kijiji or whatever for 50 bucks. I mean, exactly. if someone had dropped theirs and cracked their gas tank or needed a bar or, you know, exactly. they backed over it with their trailer and broke it. <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> yeah, too. Me too. I've seen the that handle too. or the, or the brake. I mean, that exactly. Could, 50 bucks goes a long way towards the, that's a quarter of the price for that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Dave, I would just recommend, tell your brother to just basically buy another one, keep it for parts. <laughs> um, if you do come across another saw yep. that, that maybe the body is broken, it's been run over, you yep. could always take the parts yep. and make one out of two possibly. Yep. But basically guys, if you're watching and if you cannot fix chainsaws and you have an MS-170 in this bad of shape, just go buy a new one because it is not worth taking it to a repair shop. Make sense? Makes total sense. I'm with you. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to thumbs up the video and share it with your friends. And subscribe to Dave's channel and mine. Thanks. All the links are below the video. Have a great day. Take care, guys.